Hello and welcome to this mini tutorial where we're going to break down and build back up the pronunciation of the word recipe in English. Um, I quite often hear this word mispronounced and there's a very specific thing that you can do to make sure you're getting it correct. So we'll look at that at the end. So here's the script taken from the Cambridge Online Dictionary. You can see those two blue dots there telling us that the word is divided into three syllables or three separate chunks of sounds. And the blue mark at the top left tells us that we want to stress the first syllable in this word. So res is stronger, it's a bigger sound. So repeat after me, focusing on the stress and the chunking to start with, recipe. Again, recipe. Good, so you really want to force that first syllable out much more strongly than the other two. So thinking about the sounds then, the first syllable hopefully should be fairly straightforward. We've got that short e eh vowel. We're beginning with the r, so it's r, e, eh, s, res. Probably out of all of the parts here, the r might be the most problematic for some people. In English, we curl the tongue back a little bit, the tip of the tongue, to make the r, r. You don't want it to be tapping behind the top teeth, and you certainly don't want it to be making two or even three little taps or a trill. That would, um, that would sound excessive in terms of what we're looking at here, which is a standard British English taken from Cambridge. So what this isn't... Um, acknowledging is that there are definitely accents of English which are rhotic, which would make more of this R sound. Um, for me, I'm from the Midlands in England, so the R is the standard sound for me, and it's the standard sound for this dictionary. So that's what we're going with here. Um, so res, res. Then we've got a nice short I. So repeat after me, I. And this is the part where people usually get a little bit stuck. It looks quite simple. P. P. So repeat after me. P. Like the vegetable. Yeah, small green vegetable. P. The place where people come unstuck is that when you see this word written down, it ends with the letter E. And I've encountered many people who pronounce this word recipe because they've been told by a teacher in the past, oh, if you see an E on the end of an English word, it's probably silent, don't say it. And as a consequence, many people will apply that rule and so will say recip or receipt. But it's a, it's a P ending with that E on this word. So that's the top tip to take away. So building that all back together, repeat after me, stressing the first syllable and remembering your E at the end, recipe and there it is orthographically one last time repeat after me recipe so it's not receipt or recipe we need that e recipe that's your takeaway point of the day so if you found that useful go ahead and subscribe hit like leave me a comment maybe you've been mispronouncing this word and you're surprised at what you've heard today. If so, let me know, that's absolutely fine. It's nice to get some feedback. And if you're finding these videos useful, go ahead and share them on your social media, share them with your friends. And there's the link to the homepage. There are lots of pronunciation exercises, as you might guess from the title of the channel, but there is also IELTS preparation work there as well. Thanks ever so much for watching and have a lovely day.